Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be looking at card visuals in Power BI. A card visual is a visual that you can use to view a single number. It can be total number of sales, total number of employees, total number of opportunities. Um, right now, you can see on my screen, all these are card visuals, but they are in different types. And the interesting thing is that they are interactive. I have a slicer here. When I select um, Bugatti, for instance, for this, it changes to the particular car. And over here, um, this two cards, I filtered using the slicer. You can see uh, when I select mid market, they are interactive. They can actually change. So let's um, look at how all these cards are built and the difference between each and every one of them. Right now, we are going to be starting with the old card. Um, the old card visual, you can get that here. This particular one, just card. You can see that we have two different cards. This one is the card new. This is the new card. This is the old card. And I created this using the old card. So let's look at how to create this. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is to select the card visual. And um, I have my data here. I have two sets of data. Right now I'm going to use the financials. I've created some measures and I have sales. So I'm going to pull in sales into this. You can see um, it's taking shape already. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to format this so that it can look like this. And you can see the different types of um, formats that are actually applied. Um, you have the ability to add a new title here. If you have a title to, to add, but in my case, sales is just fine. And this sales is known as the category label. So if I want to increase the size of that, I'm going to increase that to 17. You can see it has increased. I can change the um, font to bold. Then the 56 that you can see is known as the colored value. In order to change that, you can increase it or reduce it, but um, I'm going to change this to 50. And I'm going to make it bold as well. You can see. Um, next thing I'm going to do is to add a background adding a background you can find that in this particular size and style part um, click on the background is already turned on right now the background is on white I will change the color to blue okay you can see now that we need to change the color of my colored value as well as my label to actually stand out so I'm just going to change them to white category label white and um, the final thing i'm going to just do for this card is to turn on the visual border in order to give it that nicer shape um the border color i want it to be blue rounded corners i want it rounded to have curves on the on the edges so i will just give that thin and i will just turn on the shadow to add a visual effect to that Let me use this darker one. So the next one we're going to be looking at, it's the new card. So we are going to be using the new card visual. So add that. Um, we're going to add our data, which is the name in this case. First thing we're going to do is to work on the background of the data, of the card. So turn on the format painter as you select this. The size, um, style, and position. Padding. The padding is actually the white space between the card, which is the interior and outside. So we are going to increase that. 15. 15. 15. 15. You can see there is now space in between. Um, next thing we are going to do is to add color to the background. And we are going to choose this. Oh, this is too dark then increase the transparency okay this is fine then um, we turn on the visual border as well and um, change the color to this then increase the rounded space to 12 for the rounded corners 
the next thing is to add our title turn on the title product and um, change the font to bold yeah, make the font bold then add a subtitle then um for that i'm okay with size you can add a divider then spacing the spacing between the um subtitle and the title now to customize that to turn on the customizing uh, spacing and i want to just increase on the space below the subtitle and i believe we are done with the background next is the color value which is the value the Aston Martin value that you can see so we're going to reduce the size to 35 and then change the font to Sergio UI bold then change the color to this this is too light um let's use this instead and increase transparency the next um it's the label the label is the first name that you are seeing but we want to use a customized label in our case we want the engine name to be our label so we are going to click on this fx car data engine name now the position of the label i want it to be below the name then The next thing we're going to do is to add image so we're going to add the car data image um turn on image in this case you can actually add um the data that you have stored in your system you can browse and add but for our case we already have url column which we are going to reference now click on image url um fx to get that column images okay so right now the position of the image you can see position right of text we want it to be below text you can make it above text or whatever way you want so that is that for image then next now is the reference label which is another interesting feature for this new card that you don't have in the old card where you can be able to add other numbers just like we have here so I'm going to click that and to add this, I would select um, first name. Then I'm going to add the fuel efficiency, the horsepower, and I'll talk. Next is to edit the names and remove the sum of that we have as prefixes. I'll click on fuel efficiency to turn that on. Under the title, I have custom leads sum up make the font bold under the value increase the font to 22 and display unit none i will do the same thing for horsepower and uh, So now we have all we are now going to work on the layout select all on that colored values because if you don't select just like we have now if you only have first name selected this layout will be grayed out in order to enable it you select all Then you can see it is enabled then um the color size let's just increase that to 73 okay yeah you can see that we now have enough space next thing we're going to do for our reference label is to change the orientation right now they are in rows 
So we just go back to reference labels, um, layout, change from rows to column. Then center alignment. Next is to change the background to white so that it fits. You can see we have a divider here. Um, we can change the color of that divider as well. Here you can change it to the light. You can increase the width of the divider and make it two. And um, next is on the card itself. everything i will just select um rounded rectangle here so as to make this inner part round and you can just reduce the size i'll just reduce it to 20 okay so you can see that new card actually has a lot of things for you to be able to do the next one we are going to be looking at is this particular card it's also a new card and we are going to look at how to create this this is a single new card which is an advantage that the new card has over the normal card if you had wanted to create this um, using the normal card you will create this three times but with a new card visual you can just create this as a go so um the first thing we're going to do is just to add a card the new card and we are going to be using the financial data for this this financial data is the native power bi data sample data i've created some measures from it so you just add the card um no matrices that you want to measure i have sales profit total profit here and unit sold you can see that as I'm adding, it's increasing. Even if I add, I have like five different matrices to make, to monitor. I can just keep adding, and the number of cards increases. I don't need to create each and every one of them individually, and this saves time. Now I'm going to turn on the format part of the card and look at different layouts. Right now we have a single row. Um, you can make it a grid and you can also make it a single column depending on the orientation that you want but single row is fine for us let me just take this back you can set the number of cards that you want to show and the space between the cards so for my case i want the space between the cards to be 20. this is the space in between the cards and um I have the color value, which is 45 in this case, and I like that. I'll just change the font to bold. Then um, the label, change it to 20, and um, make that bold as well. And the next thing is to add this um line chart that you can see here in order to do this uh we are going to be using this particular website carry color schools website um this is an interesting website that any power bi user need to make reference to here she has so many svg templates for things that you can just adapt to the particular data that you have and you can use it so the first one we're going to be looking at is this one when you click on it, area spark line. So you can see that it has um, the DAX formula that's behind this particular visual. It's already there for you as a template. It's just for you to copy the formula and adapt to yours. So you can click to like select all and copy. And you can see that it is not adapted for mine. So I'm going to change this now to adapt the data that I have and the major part I'm going to change is the measure since she already used the um, Power BI default sample data for financials which is similar to what I have then we're going to change this part hold on the shift and control key 
then sales. Another thing I'm going to change is this part to remove this has one value. This part you can only use this if you are working using a matrix visual. But since we are using just a card visual, we don't need this part. Delete this and this. And the measure is ready to go. So to apply this and create the area spark line, I will click on card. Format images. Select the series. We want to apply this to only sales. Select sales. Image URL. FX browse financial. It's under here. Area spark line. Right now it's showing right of the text. Um, I want it to be beneath, below the text. And you can increase the size to what you want. Um, I can increase this to 250. Then increase my chart to actually show it. The next one is the progress bar. And for this as well, you can get the template from Kelly Kaluskos website. And you have the bullet and the progress bar. This is for progress bar. You scroll down. This is for bullet. Then this is for progress bar copy and paste this and adapt it to your own visual um, you can add your actual and your target also remember to remove the has one value for card if you are working on metrics um, you can use the has one value i've adapted this for mine here this is my measure so i have my total profit in there and target profit in there i've removed my has one value as well so i am going to click on images again select total profit in this case image url profit linear progress then change this to below text and see that in order to enable this to align you can increase the size here then the next one is the unit sold. This same one too, you can get that from Kerikulosko's website. This spark line here, gradient spark line. Copy and paste that onto yours and change the measure to your, to adapt to your own measure. This one doesn't have has one value. So you can just only change your measure to adapt to yours. I've already changed mine and I have that here. You can see I've adapted mine as well. So to bring that in, I'll select unit sold, image URL. measures unit sold then change that to be below text increase the size to 250 then you can work on the card to continue with the formatting that you want you can change the shape to rounded you can change the shape to snip tab at the top you can even customize the style how you want the snipping to be both up or down and all but for this case i only wanted it to be rounded and you can turn on the shadow nice visual card you can add your ascent bar this is on the side you can increase the width of this ascent bar to be visible make it turn change the color as it pleases you you can see that the card is looking more sophisticated and not so boring like the normal card so that is all for card and thank you for watching like and subscribe for more videos don't forget to share as well